Good morning, Quack after 101 here, and today's shout out goes to Curb and Epic Bendy. Both were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and both win this shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quack after 101 here with a review of the new WL Toys XKA180. What is the A180? Well, looking at it, you can tell right away that this is a flying model of the F-22 Raptor. Now, what's special about this particular airplane uh, is that this flying model, I've reviewed quite a few F-22s before, but uh, all the others were a little bit smaller, about two-thirds the size of this, and also had brushed motors. This one actually has a brushless motor, okay, to improve uh, durability of the motor, you know, improve durability comes from brushless motors. Also, you get more power using a brushless motor. So it's good to have a brushless motor version of this particular aircraft. Other things about it, it weighs under 76 grams. This will not require registration in most countries, folks. You know, it's just too light to be a concern to uh, your local aviation authorities. Um, additionally, it's six axis stabilized. That means it's both gyro stabilized and has also accelerometer stabilization. That prevents uh, inadvertent rollover and um, crashing of the aircraft, mainly by beginner pilots. Um, the F-22 design is inherently unstable, okay? The, it's meant to be unstable for real, you know, I'm talking about the real F-22, is <laughs> meant to be unstable. And the pilots indeed fly, have fly-by-wire that enable, that is also hooked up to a stabilization system because if the pilot of a real F-22 would try to fly the F-22 manually, uh, it'd just be too much for the, uh, the average pilot to fly. So. The real F-22 is what I'm trying to say, is also stabilized. So also this one is also stabilized too. Uh, but this also has uh, uh, stabilization that prevents rollover and also pitch over. But you can turn those off if desired by pressing the button on the controller if you wish to do loops and rolls. Now I would recommend that be limited to expert pilots. Like I said, this design is inherently unstable. So um, it's... It's going, it probably is going to be difficult. I haven't flown it yet, but uh, I'll try to give it a shot here. But uh, even the most expert pilot is probably going to have some difficulty uh, maintaining uh, flight of this without crashing it <laughs> in, in uh, 3D mode. But we'll see. I, I haven't flown it yet. Maybe there's some, still some stabilization included, like the real F-22, that would enable you to fly in uh, 3D mode with this particular aircraft. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned, though, it is not four-channel. Okay, it is three channels. So what that means is we have throttle and we have aileron and elevator control and indeed there is no rudder control on this. If you look at this particular aircraft, the rudder on this one is uh, fixed. The only movement that occurs and it's independent movement of these two uh, elevons on the back here. So we have combined elevator and aileron control from these two tail surfaces on the back here. Um, other things about it, it uh, is constructed of EPP foam. It should be somewhat crash resistant with a little crash nose on the front, rubber crash nose on the front, although it, there is some structure right behind this little piece of rubber. So maybe they, <laughs> it would have been better if they cut a piece of this. I can feel there's foam right under here. So uh, in nose in crashes, this might not be entirely effective in preventing breakage, but we'll see when we go flying. I hope I don't get a nose in. Um, it has uh, EPP foam. Uh, now, I forgot to mention, it also has LED lights on the bottom surface here. Okay, now these LED lights are great for night flying, if light, night flying is legal in your particular country, so you can see this aircraft at night. And let's talk about those control surfaces in a little more detail here. Um, it does have servos, independent servos, for each of the two Elevon surfaces here. Um, I again, mentioned the uh, brushless motor. Uh, the wheels, for this particular aircraft are not the best, okay? You are going to need a very smooth surface for taking off on, uh, for taking off from the ground if you do intend to use these wheels, and also probably for landing too. Uh, but uh, let's see, other things about it. The base of this, this is your battery bay. There's one thing about this battery bay, it's very, it's held very loosely in here. So I recommend putting, what I did here is put a piece of tape right about here to hold this battery bay from falling out. Uh, especially on a hard landing with your battery. Now, speaking of the battery, this is powered by a 7.4 volt 2S 300 milliamp hour 
battery. Now this battery is very common with WL toys, okay, uh, particularly their airplanes, going back to the uh, F959 I believe has this, uh, along with a lot of their other aircraft use this. So uh, you, what I'm trying to say is you will be easily able to find replacement batteries for this, additional spare batteries for this if you wish to keep flying, and they should be relatively inexpensive, okay. And with that you also get a charger for that battery, a uh, 7.4 volt uh, wall charger, or <laughs> USB charger. I recommend using this with a wall charger, a phone wall charger, plug it in there, two amp wall charger to provide a uh, quick and rapid uh, charging of that battery. You also get a spare propeller along with a little uh, micro Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm not sure why they included the micro Phillips screwdriver as it was not required to assemble this aircraft and it's not required to change this particular uh, propeller here. The only thing I can see that would need it if you would need to access the inner portions of where the flight control board is, there is a screw here to do that if you wish to get in there. So I guess that's intended in case you need to change a servo, I believe, because you would need to get in there to uh, plug in plug in the new servo onto the flight control board. So maybe that's what that screwdriver is for. Um, other things, have I mentioned just about everything? Yes, I have. Let's go over the controller. This is its controller. Again, it's three channel, which means you only got throttle, and you only have pit, or pitch, and you only have roll, along with pitch trim and uh, roll trim. On a switch here, button here is for changing rates. If you wish to uh, have a more aggressive flyer, press the button here one time, and you'll go into the second rate for more aggressive flying and uh, first rate by pressing it one time there. And this button here is for entering 3D and 6G mode. You quick press it here and it will enter 3D mode and then you will be able to do those loops and rolls. But again, be very careful with this aircraft. If you do go into 3D mode, I recommend you take it up high so you'll have enough time to press that button again if, you, if you know, it starts heading to the ground fast. Press that button again and go back into stabilized mode. Let go of the pitch roll stick and it should automatically uh, level itself. And stabilize itself in air. Okay, that's about it. Let's take this airplane out into the field and see how it flies. So hope you enjoy this flight. Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here on a beautiful afternoon here at Pleasant Ridge Park here near Girard, Pennsylvania, and also Fairview, Pennsylvania, actually at the border between the two. Um, we are ready to go. I already have this bound to the controller. I had found it, by the way, that I needed to open up these control horns quite a bit to give it a little bit of upward uh, pitch on the elevators. The reason being, this is somewhat nose heavy uh, out of the box with the <laughs> current, uh, uh, with the battery installed, but we should be ready to go. We have a bit of a breeze coming from that direction there. I want to put on my glasses too, folks. I had them taken off here while I put on the control horns. When I adjusted those control horns, but we should be ready to go here. And the wind is coming from that direction right now. So we're going to toss it that way. So checking the throttle, checking the surfaces. They are slightly up. And here we go. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, I had to turn the control horns about 10 turns <laughs> counterclockwise to open it up. But it's flying nicely now. I am in lower rate. Let's try higher rate. High rate now. Yeah, it turns good at high rate. But I'm going back to slow rate because it is a bit bouncy today. And the reason being we have a bit of a wind. Now it's not super fast. I thought it'd be really fast, but it's not. But it's flying nicely. And this wind, got a lot of wind. See it crabbing through, through the wind? Now let me bring it in low and slow and see what it, try to go low and slow in this wind. <laughs> it's a fun flyer, but really bouncing around in this wind. Um, I'm hesitant to go into 6G mode because of the wind and also because you know, it is somewhat of a very maneuverable aircraft. <laughs> Okay, I'm a pie with it. I can see those lights very well, even in daylight here, cutting back into power. But I am a pie. Let me go down this way, turn it around. I am going to go into 6G mode just temporarily. And here we go. Trying to loop. Does it stabilize? 
No. <laughs> okay, it does not stabilize. So be careful, you know, it's not self-stabilized. But I did a loop with it. And I'm gonna come down low now to show you it up close. It's actually a nice flyer. But really, it's bonded around this wind. I got wind here, folks. Wind today. So I really can't do a lot of maneuvers because, see, I bonds it around with the wind, wind gusts. But that's that uh, automatic stabilization system doing a real good job, by the way, of stabilizing and going back to high rate. It really makes hard banks here in high rate. That uh, won't climb there. I tried to give it a high climb, but going back to low rate, it flies much more smooth in low rate. So I recommend going in low rate. You go into high rate and the thing gets real, real jittery, real bouncy. But as for beginners, yeah, beginners could fly this. But again, I needed to adjust those rear, rear elevons. <laughs> and I'll show you how after we land here. Um, I had some issues there when I first came out to the field. <laughs> Neat, <huh? laughs> but uh, yeah, I kept nosing in when I tried to fly it out with the out-of-the-box stock settings. And again, all I needed to do was adjust the horns. And the way you do that is you disconnect them and uh, rotate counterclockwise if it's nosing in, or rotate them clockwise if it's pitching up. Boy, that wind's picking up, and it's flying, flying well in it. I hope that wind's not showing up on the, yeah, I know it's going to be showing up on the sound of my uh, camera, but this airplane doesn't seem to care about too much about the wind, although you know, whoa, see how fast it went downwind. Look at that bounce around there. Fun play. Realm F-22. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to go again back into 6G. Well, let's go up higher. Maybe I can go one more time into 6G. i got to go up much higher. There, I did a roll for you folks. <laughs> In 6G, let's go back up higher again. And we'll come back upwind again. Going up higher. There, another roll. Aileron roll. Yeah, um, it is somewhat unstable, as I thought. Uh, so keep your finger on that button. And a loop. And back to stabilized. And don't do these maneuvers, if you're, especially if you're not a great flyer. And I'm not a great flyer of airplanes. But uh, don't try those advanced maneuvers. <laughs> advanced maneuvers of rolls and loops. They're not advanced maneuvers, I know that. But don't try it with this one uh, close to the ground, especially if you're not familiar with this airplane. This is the first maiden flight of it, for me at least. But yeah, that that uh, brushless motor is doing real well with this plane. Climbing real well. Now, I had to do a hand toss on this. Because I'm in the grass, I'm cutting back in the power. Let's see how it glides. Gliding, 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 doing okay. Giving a little throttle, gliding, coming back down, gliding from way up there. Glides well. More aerodynamic than I thought. And a right turn around us. So yeah, it's a nice plane. Nice plane from XK. One of the better F-22s that I've seen. <laughs> F-22 models, flying models. I like it. I like it a lot. Just doing slaloms in the sky here. On this beautiful day here. I'm trying to figure what I'm going to do, folks, in the wintertime here when we got all this 
this place gets lots of snow, I know that. Eerie. And uh, how I'm going to be reviewing in the winter, we'll find out. <laughs> I'll figure out something to do. If I need to, I will fly in the snow. Great airplane. This is actually a really nice plane. Let's go up again one more time up high. Coming around, coming around. And did a little aileron roll again. And try to loop. And there we go. Loop. And keep your finger on that 6G button. Switch back to 3D, then to 6G, then so you can recover. Because it is a little bit wonky there. And, um, you know, I mentioned earlier that the real F-22 is unstable by design. And the reason for that, folks, is it makes it highly maneuverable, okay? Um, if you want maneuverability, you have to have somewhat of an unstable design. If you want st stability, you're not going to have a, a maneuverable plane, in other words. Okay, that battery's getting a little weak. I'm going to have to think about landing it here now. I'm starting to need to give it more and more power, so we're going to go downwind and then come upwind and land it. Cut and throttle, cut and throttle. I'm trying to bring it close to me. There we go. So this is a nice flyer, folks. I liked it, the XKA 180. Um, again, I did need to adjust these uh, horns, these control horns. And again, all you do, folks, is you unclip it and then uh, turn them counterclockwise to raise the elevators if the aircraft's nose is pitching down. And if the nose is pitching up, you go to the opposite. Uh, bring these elevators down, or elevons down. So, Well, that's the WL Toys XKA180. Enjoyable flight. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.